This is the solution to written homework 44. Okay, so here's a number line. And we're interested in the point negative 2. So here's the point negative 2. And then if we move a distance of 3, say, here and here, so this is distance 3, and this is distance 3. So if we call this center the red point, then I could select, for example, a green point. So this green point has distance less than 3 to the red point. And this green point has distance less than 3 to the red point. So we want a distance that's not less than 3, which is to say more than 3. So what we're talking about, <coughs> what we're talking about is all of this. So we want these points. these blue points. <coughs> and it says to give this answer in absolute value notation. So we want all of the x, so x's, such that, well, the distance from x to negative 2 the distance from x to negative 2 should be greater than 3. And written slightly more simple, that would be x plus 2 is greater than 3. So that's the answer to the question. To understand why the picture looks this way, uh, if we were to plot, so this would be the answer, and here's a, a bit of explanation. If we were to plot this, then here is the plot of uh, y is 3. So. plot of y is 3 looks like this. Here is the red point, negative 2. <coughs> and the absolute value function will look like this. So, we want to know everywhere, let's erase this. We want to know everywhere that the red is above the dashed line. Well, that is from from there on and from there on. So that's these x values and these x values, which is why the picture looks like that or just another way to interpret that picture.
Okay, so then now, similar story. So at, on this one, we're interested in the value uh, one third. So if I call this the red point, So here's a point, and here's another point, and we want this distance to be 5, and we want this distance to be 5. So now, instead of being interested in the points that are less than 5 distance, are more than 5 distance, we're interested in the points that are exactly 5 distance. So that is to say we want the t's such that the absolute value of t minus a third is 5. So that's the answer expressed in absolute value notation. So that's to say we want exactly that point and that point. Now you might wonder why does the picture look like that? Uh, the reason is because so now here is a third And what we have is an absolute value with its point right there. And the question visually is equivalent to asking, please tell me everywhere that the red is touching the dashed line. Well, is touching it right there, so this x value, and also right there, so this x value. So to summarize, these two questions were, where is the red touching the dashed y is equal to 5. And this one where, was, where is the red above the dashed y is equal to 3. And that's the answer.